hello all welcome to the channel this is d square and today i'm gonna show you how to make a design study in solidworks and uh, what is the use of uh, design study and uh, how we can get a good result with the use of uh, design optimization so today we will talk about that thing so here you can see I have a rocker arm and uh, I want to make some modification with the arm so today we will make a, a modification with the use of the design study okay so I'm starting the tutorial okay so here you can see my rocker arm model so first uh, we just need uh, that is uh, we just uh, make a, a static simulation so i already make a static simulation that is uh, i applied material fixture force and after running the simulation i got the result that is my stress and factor of safety here you can see my minimum factor of safety is uh, 5.8 and uh, this is my stress limit that is uh, 47 that is my maximum stress so what i want to do i just uh, want to my uh, minimum factor of safety between uh, 2 to 2.5 so how i can do my uh, force is uh, fixed so i can't increase the force so i just need to change the design and uh, make a uh, uh, different geometry change the dimension like uh, i can change the od diameter the thickness of uh, this one and uh, this od so if uh, i change that whole thing so i uh, need to make a uh, every time a new simulation and uh, it will take a long time so i don't want to do that whole thing so i just want to make a, a single study with uh, all result in uh, one study so in solidworks uh, for that uh, we have a study that uh, name is the design study so right click here and here you can get a design study so click here in after clicking you can get uh, this uh, window so here uh, in variable you just need uh, to add a parameter in parameter uh, you have to select the that thing that uh, you want to change and uh, that uh, thing that is a changeable thing so after clicking here uh, you can see all the di dimension is uh, given here so first uh, what i can change that is my this length that is uh, you can see 5 mm so i am just simple write the name that is my length i am writing here only l that is my length and in category we can get this option so I am checking here that is a model dimension okay and in click here value and just click this value here you can see value is automatically added okay now second thing which I want to change that is my this uh, total thickness is uh, 20 mm so I am just right here that is my id length this is my id length and uh, just uh, what is my length is uh, 20 mm so just click and the third one is uh, which item i can change so i just want to change this my 
ODD daya right so i am writing here ODD and uh, just click here the dimension of the ODD that is 18 mm click here now just simple apply and close here you can see we get the length and just go to here and od and add one more thing id length this is my id length and this is my od dia that is 18 and this is my total thickness 5 mm so in here you can see here option discrete and range in range you can make here a exception between two in the range with step here you you can find also the step value how many step do you want to continue so for a for a making your exception so i am first writing the minimum thickness right now my maximum thickness is 5 mm so i just want to my minimum th thickness is 4 mm and uh, my maximum is 5 i don't want to increase and i step is a default i don't want to change it here you can see od so this is first uh, i am this is my id dimension is 10 mm so I just want to increase my dimension that is uh, my minimum OD dimension is uh, okay so here I am writing my minimum OD dia that is uh, 13 mm and uh, my maximum OD dia that is 18 mm and uh, nine step is okay i don't want to change it now this is my id length that is uh, 20 mm so here i just want to change my minimum id length is uh, 15 mm and uh, my maximum is 20 mm okay now all things are defined here you can see the active scenario so according to this information this uh, simulation make uh, eight model according to the gi given information if you want to change the scenario you can change by step or uh, by applying here minimum and maximum so you can change here okay so now here in constraint click here and add parameter so what is my main concern is i just want to make a factor of safety between 2 to 2.5 so for that i am making here simulation data and get here the factor of safety now click ok here you can see the minimum factor of safety now i want in between so i'm click here is between so here i just minimum factor of safety between 2 to 2.5 and uh, here uh, we have the result that is static one this is my static study okay so this is default as a static one here okay so now my main goal is uh, also i just want to decrease the mass uh, of uh, this object so this is my current mass that is uh, 7.49 so i am just click object and click right here uh, you can see three options that is minimize maximize and exactly i just want to choose that is the minimize mass i want now all things are defined so just run the study
here uh, you can see studies running and uh, in background you can see the changes also here uh, you can see the red line shows they are uh, want uh, i mean to say they are uh, fail during the study because uh, here you can see my minimum factor of safety limit is uh, 2 to 2.5 and uh, here you can get the factor of safety is uh, not uh, in between range so this uh, all red are the fail during the simulation here uh, you can get here optimum one that is my optimum result here you can see click here optimum and you can see this is my optimum model according to my provided uh, details this is my initial main old body and this this is my optimum solution body here you can see the current body this is my current and this is my old so here you can also get the changes my total thickness is 20 mm and uh, i got here 15 mm id is 13 and uh, and the length is uh, 4 mm and also you can see here the factor of safety is 2.1 is uh, between 2 to 2.5 also and uh, here you can see the mass is uh, also decreased here that is uh, 3.5 gram in we have one more uh, optimum result this is not a optimum but uh, it is second result of optimum here you can see the main ch changes that is uh, factor of safety and one change is that is in mass here in uh, first result we have 3.5 gram in uh, second we have 3.7 and uh, factor of safety is a uh, 2.2 and uh, here you can see my factor of safety is a uh, 2.1 so these two are the good result one is uh, optimum and uh, the scenario 5 result is a uh, second one of the optimum okay so we have the result right so in result we have the factor of safety that is a 2.1 okay so this is my wanting result now just click here model you can get uh, your uh, new model according to design study and uh, you, you can see the dimension is changing 30 mm right and this is the length is also change 15 mm here you can get changes and this is my thickness is also change 4 mm so how we can see my uh, factor of safety is uh, 2.1 in in the model also so here uh, we just uh, make here uh, in a constraint this uh, here factor of safety for static one so we just uh, previously made a simulation that is this one straight okay so this is the how you can use the design study in bio applying design study you can find your uh, optimum result according to your own so thank you for watching thank you all